after getting a lot of heat for not having many details ready for what he meant um, with a bridge lockdown, Armin Laschet went on the RD and ZDF morning show yesterday and, well, went into a bit more detail. Uh, he envisions a lockdown that lasts for two to three weeks. It's not complete, but it's uh, also shuts down parts of the economy again while driving up testing capabilities in these weeks and hoping that the federal government is correct with its prediction that by the end of April we'll have uh, rec reached the vaccination rate of 20% and that the European Union can keep, keep its promise of having enough vaccines ready to vastly increase the supply of those come May. Now, I'm largely in favor of what he's saying. Largely because it's still a compromise. When we were to listen to epidemiologists and virologists, the lockdown would last a little bit longer and it would only end if we reached the uh, infection rate where the mass testing that Lashard is envisioning is actually enough to keep everything under control while we continue to drive up the vaccination rate. And there's a bit of a debate what the right uh, level is. Um, political pressure basically makes it so that some say it's 100. But that's not really safe. Let's face it. 100 is the uh, infection rate we kind of have now or had a couple of weeks ago. It's not that safe. The one the public basically is the most familiar with and the one politicians most likely would go to is 50. But experience has shown us 50 is also not safe. Our health agencies are not capable to really follow infection, infection chains and cutting them off the closer we get to 50. So if we want to use mass tests in order to safely reopen most things, even without having reached herd immunity through vaccinations, we have to find an infection rate that allows us to do so. And the only other one that, act, that we have somewhere written down is the 35, which politicians never really talked about last year, only started to talk about at the beginning of this year, which caused a lot of public blowback because people said, why are you talking about 35? I thought 50 was the mark. But that sh probably is the mark we should go down to, an infection rate of 35. And we should now go into a harsh lockdown, a complete and utter lockdown, and see how long it takes to get there and then start to safely reopen with mass tests. But there doesn't seem to be actual political will to go that far. And the only other option that is to speed up the vaccination is not something anybody is willing to do either besides the link. Even the FDP is not longer willing to really talk about opening up the licenses of the vaccines so that every pharmaceutical company can produce them. Because, oh look, uh, we are getting closer to uh, reaching our goal. Now we don't longer need that. It was basically just a little bit of sheep populism when we had a lack of vaccines. Now that we get more vaccines, more quicker, we don't need that anymore. But if your actual goal is to get everybody vaccinated as quickly as possible, that's the only strategy we have. Force the corporations to give up their patents. On the very least, force BioNTech to do so because that's a German company. And if we were to do that, all pharmaceutical companies worldwide could produce more. Because that's what has to happen. 
we need to get everybody across this planet vaccinated as quickly as possible. It can't be that some poor countries are predicting to not see the first shots of the vaccine being delivered until summer or maybe even fall 2022. And that they'll only reach a vaccination rate that makes it safe by 2023 or 2024. Because in that time frame, the virus will have massively mutated again, and who knows if the vaccines then are still effective. We have to deliver the vaccines now. We have to produce enough vaccines now. But nobody is willing to take the necessary steps to do that. So the only other option we have, at least here in Germany, to take control of the situation is an actual complete lockdown and a massive increase in testing capabilities. But nobody's really willing to take the measure of complete not a lockdown either because of the economic fallout. So we're screwed. All we're doing is kicking the can further down the road. But if the best chance we have is a two week, maybe three week long, relatively hard lockdown and afterwards more testing, I'll take it. Because even though that is not enough in the long term, it will save some lives and will stop others from getting the disease and having to live with the long term fallout consequences from it. And right now, that appears the only thing we can actually ask for here in Europe. For the for continent this rich and so powerful, our handling of this pandemic on every single national level, let alone on the European level itself, has been pathetic.